The Honorable Parliamentary Representative for the Collier constituency, Catherine Daniels, main concern is protecting her constituents from a reoccurrence of the ravages caused by Tropical Storm Erica. Her first priority is protecting the people from the river. You see this opening? That is the danger zone for Collier Home and that's what traumatizes people. Because when the river overflowed its banks, it was able to pass through that. So it split. Part of the river went down in the village and the other part went through that area. So that's where you had all the damage coming from. And I think that as we approach the hurricane season and it's near the people are very, very traumatized as a result. So every time it rains, this is what they're really concerned about. The Honorable MP says the Ministry of Public Works has made arrangements to have the area assessed in order to close the opening which allowed part of the river into the community. We need to block that entire um, space there and then create steps so that the people can access the river from there. Further into the village, an incomplete river wall also led to even more damage. The river overflowed its banks, uprooting this house and totally decimating another which to this day has not been found. It was as a result of um, the river veering away from the incompletion of a wall but that wall has been there since I'm a little child that wall has been there and we never had river like this before but in speaking to the the family who suffered the loss of that house um, and other people I think it would be very necessary to continue that wall because it's when the river came and made the edge of that wall it could not the wall served as a buffer and it could not go down that way, so its course went into the village and was able to undermine the house. The Honorable MP is confident that within the next month or so, restoration of these walls will be complete, making Collio a lot safer. The river has also been dredged, save for the top part, which contractor Emil Gadakan has promised to dredge. Rebuilding the road within the community and installing proper drainage was also another priority for Honorable Daniel. Even before the passage of Tropical Storm Erica, some of the village roads were in dire need of repair. Our roads were in a deplorable condition, especially again thunderstorm Erica ravaged the road on the base, base side and we saw some damage again near the house area where that, the house went down. And so within three weeks, the contractor was able to complete that road project. We still have some work to do, which we'll be doing very shortly. And I think people are very happy that the village is looking much better for it. And as you see the project neat, you can see somebody who takes pride in the work and not doing it just so, but is doing it for the development of the community and to uplift the community. And I, I am very, very satisfied with the work done by the contractor. Contractor Monison Rudet worked on several road projects within the community. In this last project, restoring the road leading up to the bay, he was able to employ seven other young men from the community. The project took me three weeks. Tomorrow, giving it three weeks, and the amount of the road is 14 feet wide and it's 370 feet of concrete road. Right now I guess the people who are going to pass that area knowing how it was before after Erica and seeing it now. Everybody passing saying it's nice work, it's looking good and they will, they, most of the people talking about it they are very happy that the road is back to how it was. His next project is to make the Collio Primary School fit for use again. Although some work has been done since Erica, the school is still not yet suitable for classes. Students and teachers of this school have been relocated to the Dubla Primary School in the interim. Honorable Daniel informed that as early as next week, work will begin to improve the condition of the school. You know of our school? Well, the children are now going to school in Dubla, but very soon, maybe by Monday, the school works will start because funds have been, mobilization funds are now available, which the contractor will be able to access from tomorrow. 
and so the work on the school project will start. In Dubla, work is steadily progressing on the rehabilitation of collapsed road. Another casualty of Tropical Storm Erica, this part of the road collapsed under pressure of raging water. Soon after the storm, work began to restore this area and further intensified after further collapse due to more rain earlier this year. As you can see, the wall is this um, retaining wall for the river has been built. And right now what is happening, you'll see the building or putting some new structure in place. This wasn't part of it, but as they went along the, to maintain that road and to avoid further caving in, they are now building in that new wall, retaining wall, so that when the road will be completed or when they will go onto it, it will be firm and we could use that link road because there's a link road from Dubla the village to here and that's one of the outlets from Dubla. Right now Dubla only has one outlet because they can't pass there which is dangerous for any community. Now they are way ahead of schedule which is very very interesting and very good for the people and because they, are, they, work, they work day and night, they work day and night, they work up to 10, 11 that night when this necessitates their staying there for that cause just to make sure the road is completed. The Honorable MP says, though incomplete, the new infrastructure already presents some level of safety to the community. She is pleased that residents continue to express their appreciation for the quality of the project. There are many more things in store for the community of Collio and the constituency on a whole. But for now, Honorable Daniel is not letting on. I'm not going to say no. It's let's just complete those and then I think the community will be very happy to hear what's coming for them. Kimani Sejan reporting from the Collio constituency for GIS News.